Auditor allows you to track any kind of change at the field level in Dynamics. It'll provide you with information on when the change was made, who made the change, what the before and after values are, and even why the change was made if you need to gather that information. So let's take a look at an example. We'll start by making a change to a vendor's record. I'm gonna pull up Beaumont Construction and change their vendor check name as well as some address information. Now keep in mind, with every change that I'm tracking, I have two options. Number one, I can audit silently in the background, so my end user is never aware any auditing is taking place on the window. And number two, is that I can require the end user to tell me why they made a change. So I'm gonna show you both examples in this scenario. So I've made changes to the vendor's check name, changing it to Robert Milton, as well as adjusting the address, city, and state. Now I'm gonna save the changes. Once I've saved my change, you'll notice the auditor note maintenance window pops up. This is requiring the end user to tell you why they made a change to that vendor check name field. Now I can free text type here or pick from a list of predefined reasons. I'll apply the note and that's all my end user has to do with Auditor. And now I can go report on it. The great thing about Auditor's reporting is that it's held right inside of GP standard smart lists. Inside of the Auditor folder, you'll find three subfolders. Those are audits, which are all the audits you have system-wide, e-sign approvals, as well as security audits. Inside the audits folder, we'll click on the asterisk. This is gonna display all of your audits system-wide. And now we're just gonna use the search criteria to parse that data out and create your audit report. So we can search based on different user types, user IDs, date ranges, and different changes. So we're gonna put in today's date, and this will bring back just the audits that we've done today. If we zoom in, we're able to get additional information. In the audit inquiry window, we're able to see the date and time that the change occurred, the user that made the change, as well as the previous value and the new value. If you're requiring a note, that'll appear in this window as well. And finally, you'll be able to get this data out in a report form, either by printing your smart list, sending it to Excel, or sending it to a Word document. We'll export this information to Excel, and now I'm able to send this to external auditors, CFOs, and anyone else that would need this information in the business. I hope you've enjoyed this auditor demo. Feel free to contact our sales department if you'd like additional information.